This game is definitely no time waster. I love to play games, and today I'm going to do what I love. Buy a new game and play it. I also hate buying games and three hours into them, finding out they're rubbish, and now I can't get a refund anymore, and my money's wasted. So I created this channel so I can make sure it won't happen to you. Hello everyone, and welcome to Money's Worth. This time I bought Time Wasters on Steam for 3 euros and 99 cents, but since the normal price of this game is 4 euros and 99 cents, I will use that as my baseline price. To find out if this game is worth your money and time, I will play it for 5 hours, or until I complete the game. When I'm done, I'm going to rate it under 3 categories. Gameplay, to see if the game is fun and works well. Content, to find out if there is enough for you to do. And lastly, Money's Worth, to let you know if I think you can buy the game without risking wasting your money. I also hate getting a game spoiled in a review, so the footage you're going to see is from the beginning of the game and won't ruin your experience. I will complete the game or play it for five hours and be back with my ratings and i'm back i have now played time wasters for five hours let's get into the review in this roguelite game we start off with a simple ship with a single weapon that is specific for each captain whenever you destroy an enemy they drop gold gold is like experience in this game so when you collect enough gold to fill up the bar in the left corner you level up and when you level up you get to choose between three upgrades these upgrades are either weapons weapon upgrades or defensive or utility upgrades your spaceship can equip up to four Four weapons and it seems that you can upgrade your weapons as much as you like every weapon plays differently and has their own strength and weaknesses i found all weapons to be cool but i didn't get to try all of them in the five hours i played weapon upgrades vary from weapon to weapon some get more attack speed and more projectiles others gain bigger area of effect and duration one thing to notice is that your weapon will also target unless you press left click then they will focus their fire on your aim this is both useful and convenient since you don't have to aim all the time while you're fighting through hordes of enemies you can utilize a number of different out outpost around the map one outpost gives you more gold when you kills enemy inside the ring another gives you health back but has a cooldown one gives you a time cube that you can use in the shop these outposts can be upgraded to be more effective there are two currencies in this game time cubes used in the shop reroll upgrades or banish upgrades you don't want to see anymore in a run space cubes are used to get permanent upgrades between games otherwise the game is about surviving waves of enemies and utilizing the space stations while trying to survive oh and once in a while a bus shows up, but I won't spoil them for you since they are fun to discover. As far as I managed to get in my 5 hours of play, I did finish the level. I don't know if there are more levels or if it is endless waves, but the level I tried did not get boring during my 5 hours. There are 12 different captains to choose from. Each captain has a specific starting weapon. You can upgrade the captains permanently and their upgrades will be there whenever you start a game. Captains can also join as crew member in a game and give you the bonuses you have upgraded. You can spend your points as you like and you can also refund them without losing any of them you can spend your space cubes in three categories captains outposts and power-ups captain upgrade increased the power of their respective starting weapon by up to three levels and they have utility and defensive upgrades these upgrades come into play if you either start with the captain or get them as a crew so if you like four special captains and their weapons you can put all your points into them Outpost upgrades increase their effect and lower their cooldowns. Power-ups are overall increased to defense, offense, gold, and progression. In the unlocks menu, you can see the requirements to unlock each captain and their weapons. And when you glance over the unlocks, you will find that there are many hours to be put into this game. Time Wasters runs extremely well. All the weapons are cool and can be upgraded to be awesome. The balancing of utilizing outposts while trying to survive adds a nice layer to the game. The bosses I tried were fun and challenging. I will rate the gameplay 5 out of 5. There are 11 captains and 11 weapons to unlock and upgrade. The captains and weapons give a nice opportunity to mix and match and create different builds. It will take many hours to get all the unlocks, so there's a lot to do. I will rate the content a 5 out of 5. In my 5 hours of playing, I didn't finish the level. I didn't try all the the captains and weapons and i really want to go back and play this game more since it was both fun and challenging i want to unlock everything and see if i can beat the game time wasters is awesome and insanely cheap at four euros and 99 cents and if you like these top down roguelite bullet hell games this is a must i will rate the money's worth a five out of five i hope you found out if time wasters could be your money's worth subscribe to follow my journey please look through my other videos to see if you can find any other games that will be your money's worth See you in the next video.